But um, so tactics is very key. Like we need to have a more forward thinking with our football, more clinical, more ruthless if needs be. Um, and you can control it. Sometimes you go hard, sometimes you go softly. And then again, basics. You know, finishing the technique is like you have to do it all the time. It needs to be instinctive. You know, some play Aguero when he scores, sometimes they will look at the ball or he doesn't look at... The net shaker. Yeah, he looks at the... So it's instinctive because it's done repet- repetitive. So that's where now you need development academies where you literally... I mean, in, in, in other places, you have like specialist training, like striker training, goalkeeper training, where literally someone that's always born, like that, that, that Holland from Dortmund, you can see that guy from like five years old, or like, oh, when are you a striker? Nothing else. Don't worry about you, a striker. And it's instinctive. And obviously those basics were honed through and through and through. And we know like how the system works there in Europe. And then lastly, it's the fight. Again, one thing I saw from uh, Jean-Marc is, um, and a lot of times I used to even, I used to watch them in the over 30s when they're playing there. And one thing you still see was the finishing was there. Um, and the fight, you know, you gotta, when the ball is in the box, you know, you gotta, the defender's not gonna be nice to you. Um, so now you need to go in there and, um, and, 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 and fight for that ball. However it comes, sometimes you must score nice goals, sometimes you don't. And that's the difference between the top strikers. Top strikers will take those tapies and those scruffy goals. Root for Nistel Roy made a career out of that. But, you know, um, <laughs> but sometimes you got to, yes, you got to take the scrappy, but also you got to mm. take the nice ones and that fight. So those are the three things I narrow it down to. So it's um, tactics, the basics, and the fight. Yeah. And then we also spoke about it doesn't have to be pretty. Mm-hmm. You just need to do the job. Just take it, you know. Even if it's so, Jean Marc, <laughs> Jean Marc, do you agree with this? Um, I mean, yes, um, I do. Because at the end of the day, is that what we need is good goals. Sometimes it's just, uh, there's some pretty goals, there's some ugly goals, there's some whatever goals, whatever name you want to name it. It's goal win games and. Uh, and um, and and when you win games, it bring you confidence and bring your players confidence. And then from there, you play with more confidence. And playing with more confidence get you to play better and and better football uh, as well. So there's always a tricky balance there. Uh, what we need to what we need to strike, uh, you know. So uh, you know, there, there, there's like I think one of you guys mentioned the supporters and all these things. It's always the supporters always a uh, tricky. Uh, <laughs> some tricky customers, uh, uh, the supporters, to please them all the time. And uh, because I remember Gordon was always, uh, just to get back to our team when we won the league, the, the media was uh, the media was hammering Gordon about playing long balls. Uh, I don't know if you can remember that. They, they were on Gordon's back about playing long balls, playing long balls. But Gordon was so... Um, yeah, we were playing some long balls, but it wasn't always long balls. And... Uh, but it was working for us. So he got, as I said also at the beginning, so he he knew what's the winning, to get the winning formula. So depending on what players you've got, and uh, from that you base, for example, the way he, he won the league with Pirates the season before was very different to the way uh, he won the league with Santos. It was too different style of football completely. It was like uh, chalk and cheese. So, but he was clever enough to know, okay, fine, what's required now with these players that I've got here, what's their strength, how to get the best out of them, and then he, he made it uh, happen. And, um, yeah, to, to come back to now to um, goal scoring is first, I think, is in football, I mean, this is my philosophy is that, you know, you've got to, you've got to work to, um, even you see the Ronaldo and the Messi's and all this. They, 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 yeah, they, we said that Ronaldo has got less talent that, uh, or skills than Messi and Messi, yeah, but Messi also works hard. Ronaldo worked even harder uh, with all the character and the drive that he's got. BT mentioned drive earlier, which we really need to. And it's very important this. And, um, uh, Talent, as we always say, it's not enough. 
But I think here, to come back to the point where here in SA, why we don't um, have these strikers like we used to have before, like the Benny McCarthy, the Sean Bartlett's and the Mark Williams and all these guys, you know, and I think I think it's a, it's a bit of a combination. Uh, everybody's got their own opinions, obviously, on that. Uh, you know, you, you you will interview the whole of SA, they, you will have uh, 45 million uh, or 50 million uh, different uh, views. So, but I'm just sharing you mine as I've got a little bit of experience also in the in the business. But I think it's first thing first is that it's, it's you got to, the formation. You got to work uh, like like you say. I'm wearing this. Is like I just opened this. Uh, the JMI uh, Striker Academy here. Uh, I see a a a a, a lack of uh, uh, kind of work or training towards strikers, and that's what I just started uh, individual training for strikers. And uh, and and they and, and I've got as young as ten year old, eleven year old, twelve year old, and the parents are interested to to send their boys to to learn how to score goals. And this is something that we have to learn. It's the same like we're learning how to pass a ball, how to have a long uh, long pass, a short pass, or a control, and this and that. So uh, striking the ball, put the ball in the net as well. The more you work on it, the better you become uh, as well. Yes, uh, we also agree that there are some players who were born with some more, so instinctively, they've got a little bit more, you know, uh, of, of this kind of this, this this scoring goal, this this talent, yeah, they've got a bit more. But nonetheless, they still have to work on it. Okay, but, but I think we don't here in the essay. I think we don't put enough emphasis on on um, you know working the strikers and, and developing them into scoring goals. Uh, you know, you got a guy from maybe he's already 17, 18, 19 somewhere. You know, playing, you scouting him, he can score one or two goals, but he didn't get that, that basic formation uh, of scoring goals and the movement and these little details of things. It makes a big difference, especially that tomorrow the guy, okay, Chief signs him, and then all of a sudden he finds himself in the Bafana setup. But he hasn't got a, a good formation, uh, you know. So then when he gets there with the pressure, of uh, playing for the national team, and he can't cope with that. And this is where uh, things break down, uh, you know, and the players sometimes disappear, and, you know. But if you, your your foundation, your basic foundation, your basic development, that's your strong foundation that's going to carry you, uh, you know, if you want to build a, a hundred story a building, if you want to go, uh, you know, as far as the national team and make it in Europe and everywhere, um, that's that's your foundation, um, but I think that there's a lack of that uh, here uh, in SA um, foundation uh, to prepare the young players uh, properly. Uh, we know, we all know, there's plenty, plenty of talent. You take a youngsters here in SA at the age of 10, 11, and then you compare that with that youngsters in Europe who's 10, 11 year old. I can tell you, this guy has got like 10 times more talent than this one in Europe. But then that this one in Europe, he's going to go through a proper structure uh, to get to 16, 17, 18, 19 years old. Where at here, you don't have that same structure, that same commitment. And I was yeah. talking earlier about long-term plan. Okay? So, and we don't have this long-term plan here uh, also for our youngsters, you know? So then, then somewhere along the line, the youngster, the talented youngsters who was, who was like 10 year old, 11 year old, is lost along the way to uh, when he gets to 18, 19, somewhere along yeah. the way he's lost in his development. So then it's very, it becomes very, very difficult for this talented young, boys, young boy to make it at the highest level uh, of football. I think you also forgot to mention the fact that um, another reason is that they never signed me to play, but it's okay, I'll forgive you for that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, sleeping on pilots, that's a problem. They're sleeping on pilots. All the talent is that. So, so guys, um, our time is going. I mean, we could sit here and, and listen forever. Yes. Oh my gosh, like, man, this is just like a footballing uh, knowledge course. Um, so, I just wanted to come to the guys, our panelists. Um, Shoni, thank you so much for being with us today. Do you have any last words, any points that you just want to drop 
on us of your thoughts and how you think everything went today or tonight. No, uh, thank you for having me, first and foremost. Um, Mr. Etienne, it's an absolute honor and a privilege to actually to speak to you and, and to learn from you. Um, I think it's great. Uh, I love what I love what I love what you what you're saying about this academy that you've put together. I think the more ex pros that can get involved in football after they, their careers are uh, finished, the better it is for our local football. Um, and I could just want to say thank you for that. And I thank you for for your dedication to the beautiful game. I think your contribution is wonderful, and we appreciate it. Nice one, man. Uh, Pleasure, Larry, thank you, Larry. In one minute, please. Let's hear you. Oh, man, not not much, but just maybe echo Tony's um, uh, comments as well. You know, uh, Jim Mark, you're not a South African, but I think South Africa has adopted you as one of their own. Um, we appreciate your contribution and um, thank you for everything. And uh, we enjoyed the memories. Uh, we hope that uh, we see many more coaches like you in the future. Thanks a lot. Yeah, don't, don't worry, we're watching Man United now, now, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> um, coach, BT. Any last words? Um, no, from my side, um, Jean-Marc, thanks for, thanks for joining us and catching up with us. Um, obviously, like, distance is a problem, Cape Town is far, but at least, like, now we can always keep in touch, um, especially, like, with... We can learn from you here in Joburg because we're also making uh, football moves here uh, where we are. So it would be good to, like, always keep in touch with you as we build um, our football culture here. And send the strikers awesome, too. Send the strikers. <laughs> guys, yeah, I hope so you guys are watching. Gonna, I hope you guys are watching I'm, Mason Greenwood uh, doing his thing. Yeah, that's a striker. Yes, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. BT, I don't know. BT, I'm not so sure. I don't know if you were still there. Uh, we were still at Pineland's High. I'm sure you must. You must have been here. There's only. Is, there's a young player that Pirates sign him. Um, his name. I forgot his name now. He's from Mpuleni. Uh, a left footer, a little bit of Rasta boy. He was he was playing with us when he was like under uh, eleven, I think. Uh, I forgot oh, his and name. And now he's in Pirates. Uh, yeah, Pirates signed him. I saw that on Kickoff magazine. Uh, oh, nice. Pirates wow. signed him. Yeah, oh, but he played he played for us for I think for one more for one season, and then he the the, the parents had some transport problem, but I saw now recently uh, I think last year sometime. Pirate Sunny is like a big boy now, but he was a very good he was a very good player though. Uh, oh, wow, you man! Know. You see, <laughs> yeah. it's all possible. It's all possible if you put in that it's work, all. you put in that fight and that drive. Guys, an hour is not enough. Um, we are going to speak to our producers so that we can have you back again, Mr. Jean-Marc. Uh, it has been such a pleasure. We really appreciate you, and we really appreciate the knowledge that you have dropped on us, uh, guys. Just to wrap it up, se- seven p.m. every Thursday. Catch us live, the best show, North Banter side, North Side Banter show, sorry. Uh, thank you to all our guests. Thank you, Coach BT, and we'll see you guys next week. Love. <laughs>